So you've seen in lots of places, this conference is about money, but it's also very much about meaning. And you've heard a lot about the how of impact investing, but we also make sure to talk a lot about the why of impact investing. And personally, I know that the why and the meaning are what are gonna really expand this conversation. So for our next speaker, I'm so excited to welcome the man who leads yoga sessions outside of the firehouse in the morning at 7.30, who's gonna speak to you today, Marlon Hall. Oh, I like that music, that's nice. How are y'all doing? Good, good. I'm so grateful to be here with you and uh, such beautiful faces. And I've, I've been in earshots of your conversations and I am so proud of the work that you're doing in the world. Uh, why you do it, what you do, and how. So grateful. And her name is Phoenix. And uh, Phoenix Alexandra Hall is the best thing since sliced bread, I'm telling you right now. In fact, she's better than vegan sausage. You know what I'm talking about? Good for you, good to you. And uh, she's my daughter. My ex-wife and I were hoping to have a baby, and uh, we, we couldn't for eight years. Our expectations were burned to ashes with each month. And so we named her Phoenix because she rose from the ashes of our burned expectations. And she is a tangible manifestation that dreams do come true. And uh, one day I was laughing and playing and playing and laughing with Phoenix, and um, she said, you know what, Daddy? She said, all the things that you do really don't matter. I was like, little girl, how you know? You're eight. All the things Daddy does feeds us. She was like, no, no, no. All the things that you do don't matter. She said, Daddy, it's all about who you be. It's all about who you be. She said, be better today, Daddy. Don't do better today, Daddy. She's eight. She's a prophet. Would you turn for 30 seconds, maybe four to five, turn to the person next to you and tell them why you want to be who you are here today. Why you want to be who you are here today. In one word, what's your why? In one word, what's your why? Turn and talk, turn and talk. Hey, damn, that sounds hard. What about you, brother? He said what? Belief. Good. Reach your fingertips up towards the ceiling. Reach your fingertips up towards the ceiling. Inhale, spread your fingertips, spread your fingertips. On the exhale, draw your fingertips away from your shoulders. Negotiate with your neighbors. Yeah, negotiate real estate. Turn to your neighbor. Negotiate more space. Reach your fingertips behind their spine. In Sanskrit, it's called a hug. It's, it's a yoga posture. It's called a hug, y'all. It's a hug. It's a hug. In all of your doing, in all of your doing, it is essential that you do from who you be because only when you do from who you be will what you do make the biggest impact. In fact, we've been so fastened to doing, even at the intersection of meaning and money, that we've become a wreck oftentimes. Because we do, 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 until life becomes doo-doo. But there's hope. The hope is that you can turn the doo-doo into something that can fertilize your future. We have 69. 69 days until a new decade. 69 days until you can open up a new realm for the next 10 years for what you wanna do. And I challenge you to not do what you wanna do next from what you do, but do it from who you be. So I, uh, I picked up the phone and uh, I can hear her inhale, I can hear her exhale. 
And to be honest with you, she sounded more grounded than she'd ever been. And uh, I said, hello? And out of nowhere, with an urgency of purpose, she said, you've been doing more than you've done in your entire life, and I'm proud of you, and you've become more of who you've been. She said, but you've become the man that I did not marry, and I want a divorce. <laughs> you laugh. I didn't. I cried. <laughs> I cried because it was not just a divorce from this woman, but a divorce from a way of life that I thought I was working for. I thought the work was not an end, but a means to the end of this willful, whimsical, wonderful life that I was developing, a family, a family that I had dreamed of having when I was in middle school. Most of my mates wanted to be basketball players and investment bankers. I wanted to be a daddy and a husband. But all of the work that I was doing did not lead to that end. It led to a different end. I've listened to the work that you have aimed at, and I've, and I've heard the conviction behind that work. And I want to invite you into the space to where you acknowledge that who you be when you pour into your being will make room for the kind of doing in the next 10 years that will exponentially transform all of humankind. And if you would just for a moment be vulnerable enough to maybe admit that most of your doing has been the end and not your being. Started over seven businesses. Did over four innovation incubators that incubated 98% success of over 152. I did say 52. You got to get that two in there. 152 businesses. And I thought I was really doing it, y'all. But in all of my doing, I was losing my being. Today is the day that you remember you heard a vertically challenged, yet slightly handsome black man. <laughs> Invite you into what's next for what you do. In fact, I'd like for you to take a few moments to open up the space in your heart that will allow you to be vulnerable enough to remember why it is that you do what you do. For only from the why will you imagine the new possibility of a what that's rich and beautiful and powerful. Sometimes we get so focused on the what, the when, the where, and the how, and even the who with that we forget the why. We get amnesia because the trauma of keeping the what up keeps us from the beauty of the why. And so today, with this opportunity that I have to speak before those of you who, like me, are so focused on doing good work at the intersection of meaning and money that you sometimes forget who you be, I challenge you to reverse engineer all of the what's, the when's, the where's, the how's, and the who's back to the why so that the why can bring you a new imagination, a new imagination for a decade that you will look back on as the significant decade that represents not just all the good stuff you did, but the great person you became. Place your right palm on your right knee. Left palm on your left knee. Sit up straight. Inhale, breathe in through your nose. Open up your mouth side out. Inhale, breathe in again. Open up side out. Some of you logical, mathematical, sequential order and process oriented people are like, can we do more than this? No. Just be here. Inhale, breathe in. Open up your mouth side out. Gently close your eyes and allow your eyelids to connect in a way that feels intimate, tender. Remove your tongue from the roof of your mouth. Slightly open up your teeth and your, your lips. Inhale, I am here. 
Exhale, I am now. Inhale, I know my why. Exhale, I move from it. Inhale who you be. Exhale who you ain't. Right here, right now where you sit, you have access to the kind of being that will make what you do exponentially more powerful. And know that presence is the doorway through which you experience it. Be where you are in any given moment so that you can become fully who you be. Namaste. Namaste.